What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. It's Thursday. That means it's time for another one of my Thursday gear videos. And in this video, we're going to be covering the brand new Taylor Guitar 12 string uh, that I just got. It's the 562 CE, and it's a 12th fret or 12 fret. And what that means is if you look right here, the double dots are right here. And on, you know, most standard acoustics, um, the cutaway actually starts about three frets higher, so this is actually a, a shorter scale neck, and the body is a little bit smaller, so it's really comfortable to play, and for a 12 string, having the uh, little bit shorter neck, a um, little less tension, so the guitar stays in tune really nice, and that's one of, you know, it's an issue for 12 string guitars, which is keeping them in tune. Um, some of you don't really even know what a 12 string is or how it functions, compared to a normal guitar. So I'll explain that really quick. Basically, you play it exactly like a no normal guitar, like a D chord. The other thing about it is there's 12 strings, but six of the strings are exactly like a normal acoustic guitar. So I've got this low E string, the A, the D, the G, the B, and the high E. And then right really close next to each of those normal strings is another string. And on the upper register, the B and the high E, they're just doubled. It's tuned the exact same way. So when you hit it, uh, you know, you get a thickening, a doubling of the exact same note. And on the B string, it's the exact same thing as well. Then when finally we get to the G, D, A, and E strings, and the smaller string that's right next to it is the exact same note, but an octave higher. So you get an octave sound. So when I hit the normal G, it would sound like this. I have to hit it very carefully not to hit the other string connected to it. But when I hit the whole thing, you'll hear this string with it, which is the G note as well, but an octave up. So you, you just strike it like you normally would and you get this extra shimmer. Now the D. But you can play it. So you just get a really full shimmery sound. Uh, the Beatles use the 12 string on songs. Uh, Tom Petty uses one. He was, you know, super into the that sound that the Beatles created. Uh, Jimmy Page from Zeppelin. Uh, I played a little SRV, Hendrix. You know, it, it, it's a cool it's a cool tool for guitar players to just kind of get a different sound out of it. You know, there's other guitars like baritone guitars. That's another good way to kind of spark up some new ideas. Thank you. 
right, so that was the Taylor 12-string 562CE, 12th fret, so a little bit shorter neck, nice and comfortable to play, stays in tune amazingly. Um, so, and when you do have to tune it, I tuned it last night just because I knew I'd be making this video. And it actually really wasn't uh, as hard as I remember it when I was an 18-year-old. I had this, uh, just some really cheap brand 12-string and I remember trying to tune it and actually cracking the neck because there was so much tension on the neck as I tried to tune it. They actually broke, cracked the neck off the guitar by trying to tune a 12 string. Of course, that was a really cheap, uh, you know, uh, inferior product as we've got these tailors now. So um, anyway, I really enjoy playing it. Uh, when there's a really relevant 12 string lesson, I'll be sure to... Uh, to use it for fun, but just keep in mind, you know, you play it exactly like a regular guitar. I mean, yeah, you got to press down a little bit more to cover both strings, but I found that, you know, it's really not harder to play. And the other thing is if you don't accurately hit both strings when you're striking, you know, you're not doing anything wrong. It's still going to sound good. So these are all good things to keep in mind. Uh, once again, every Thursday is a new gear video at Marty Music. So thanks for the support and uh, can't wait to see you again real soon. See you later.